Coach, uh, who, welcome. Uh, and may you just give us a brief summary of the match today from your perspective. Uh, good evening. Um, complicated uh, beginning of the match, as we expected. Uh, dealing with a uh, with a back five. Uh, soon, early in the in the first half, uh, defending in low block with not not so much space to progress in in our first circulation, forcing us all the time to to look for a second or a third one uh, to try to find a little bit of advantage uh, close close to their box but it's a team that they they recover the positions very quick once they are eliminated and, and protecting the key spaces very well uh, defending with deep and when they don't uh, uh, they have uh, always uh, good interventions from the goalkeeper as well uh, but little by little, I think we managed to 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 make them arrive slightly late in, in some moments in the first half, even before the one the one nil. Uh, but controlling, I think, controlling every every scenario uh, really well. Some difficulties, obviously, to defend the transitions. Big guys up front, uh, strong, powerful players. Uh, so in situations when we were running. Uh, looking to our goal was was complicated to defend, but I think uh, Cesane and and, and CB did a did a fantastic job. Uh, more control even in the second half, uh, chances to to put the game far for far uh, for the opponent, but uh, lack of lack of. Uh, Accuracy or lack in, in 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 the last touch, in the last decision, uh, kept the game in a in a one nil that looks that is probably no not is not a true reflection of the of our performance. But I think we didn't even suffer uh, any situation in the last minutes where we could feel that oof, uh, maybe the one one is coming. Uh, I think the game was uh, totally under control. Good performance, uh, three more points. So, so very happy. Now, open for questions from the floor. As you know, please identify yourself as well as the video company you present prior to asking a question. Check or we'll know that again. Question, Mr. Um, not a focus obviously on, on you reaching the milestone of 100 matches. Um, just to go back to, to June 2022, did, did you picture yourself being able to do 100 matches in a league, in a continent, country that you've never been in before? And, and how do you reflect back on, on these 100 matches? Um, um, and then obviously the week tonight as well is, is the club's record seventh win in a row, uh, which you've achieved as well. Uh, and just your thoughts on that. Yeah, to the first question, the answer is uh, yes. Uh, we, we we start a new project here, like you said, two years and four months ago, uh, with a three years contract. So every time you, you start a, a project, you want to finish the project. Uh, not obviously not counting how many games you're going to be on charts, but you come with the intention and with the illusion to uh, to do your best to it is a is a privilege for me it's an honor to 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 get this opportunity to to be in this position where i am right now to represent a club like orlando pirates uh, in, in, a, in a position of a of a head coach i'm a very fortunate person to have that that honor uh, one more time and then the number of games it's it's related with our performance with with uh, the fact that we have an excellent team this season one season ago two seasons ago we managed always to to compete uh, properly sometimes with uh, if you go uh, through those hundred matches uh, there's I think that you will find 
higher higher am amounts of uh, good moments than bad moments uh, for us as a team. So, like you said, is a. Uh, I think it's, it's good to say today, but tomorrow it's, uh, it's anecdotic. Uh, we will be thinking the 101 and then the next one. And uh, But I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of uh, what we what we achieve as a team so far and, and look into the future with uh, optimism and, and illusion. <coughs> and the seven games, uh, sorry, you asked me about the seven games as well. That's probably even more important than the hundred games, in my opinion. It's uh, the fact that the boys managed to break one record it tells quite a lot about how difficult it is to 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 win consistently, to to win one game after the other until getting seven. And now is in is in our hands to to keep winning, not because we want to establish a new record or a more difficult one, but it's in our hands to, to continue winning, and that's the aim, and not, not really thinking in the... For me, the record is, is just a sign of how difficult it is, something that you achieve when it's the first time that somebody do it. So happy for the boys, happy for the club in general, and like I said, to the next. Good evening, coach. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Uh, previously, coach, uh, you've been here for 28 months. Uh, for you, coach, what, what takes precedence? Is it is it the fact that you've made these footballers better uh, professionals, or is it them being better human beings? What if in your hundred, uh, you know, game here, or what exactly is much more important for you? Is it results? Is it making these uh, players much more better as professionals, or so better human beings? Thank you. I think I, I I would like to think that the the results, the numbers, the performances is a consequence of the other things that you mentioned before. The our improvement uh, as a footballers, as a coaches as well. Uh, our improvement to 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 understand and to learn to how how can we play good football together and get results at the same time consistently and and there's no in my opinion yeah, this is a particular opinion but there's no chance that you can succeed in a collective if the 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 human uh, level in the group is not is not high enough and we are consistent consistent right now because there's a lot of uh, a lot of truth in what they do, in the way they behave, the way they they coexist is the word together, uh, day after day, uh, and that's that's the key. Uh, there's a, there's a interesting ecosystem right now there in the team. Uh, obviously, getting the results it helps. Everything is, it looks much, much better, uh, but but I will say that first is first, and first is the, the um, our uh, human quality and the human quality of the group, and everything else is a consequence of that human quality and also the football quality that they have, which is, is not a discussion. Next three questions. Uh, Coach, uh, your last day is only on November 26. You sort of welcome the break home that you prefer to give him the fact that you've gained momentum. Thanks. Tanya, help me please. I, I, I couldn't understand. Does the break come at a good time? Ah. Okay. Twenty six. Yeah. I I think that I answered many times that that conundrum. Uh, th there's nothing I can do, so I take it the way it is, and there's a break. It doesn't matter if if I prefer to have a break or not. So. Like I said many times, one of the keys to succeed in modern football is planning. Uh, we have an opportunity now to utilize this time to, 
to rest, at least to rest uh, some of our players, uh, to refine some other players, some other uh, team dynamics, uh, behaviors, patterns. You have more time to to have a look of maybe small details that when you are competing every two, three days, you don't have the time and the opportunity to do. So I'm, I'm always taking everything like something positive for us. If, it's a, if there is a break, it's going to be positive for sure, because we're going to use the time to, to come back better. Uh, obviously, when you are winning every two, three days, you don't want to stop. I'm not going to lie. You want to you know, keep going, especially the players when they are having fun on the field and the result is coming for us. Well, you want to continue. But now many of them, they have different compromises with national teams. They will continue competing. And the other ones, we will stay here in, in, in Jogur and continue uh, preparing for what's coming, which is an extremely tight schedule in, in November, December, January, February. It's, it's something else. I think the next FIFA break is in March, if I'm not wrong. Maybe you can correct me. So once we start again after this one, we don't stop anymore. Uh, so it's going to be an important part of our preparation for the upcoming months. Hey coach, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Mickey Jr. here from Ghana. Uh, my question has to do with Mufuke, a young talent in the squad. I'm a 38 check. Um, many of us are wondering what exactly or how did you excite you up for giving this incredible performance? And how far do you think that you can go with this talent? I think you, you are new in the press conference, so you, <laughs> you don't know that I don't used to answer the questions about individuals, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an exception uh, with, with our college from, from Ghana. Uh, <laughs> in my own way. In my own way. Um, uh, well, I think no one is any more surprised about uh, uh, Relevo Hill uh, performances. Uh, is in is in a good moment. Like like the rest of the team, they are confident right now to 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 play their football, to express themselves. And when you have the, the, such a talent, you know, inside you, and you find the, in the end, we as a coaches, what we provide. To the player is is structure is this, the right space for them to to express themselves to execute uh, and show their skills more than giving the, the the confidence for the players is is to to consistently play to give them responsibilities more than nice words you know when uh, when they play or they don't play. Uh, but in, in, in our case, every player up front in this team is, is, really, is a really talented player with capacity to do uh, and to create a lot of problems to the opponent. Rele is one of the cases. Um, and how far? 19, 20, 21, 18, 17 years old. Uh, uh, with with uh, with that level of talent, the future belongs to you. It's about many many things, but the, the young players must control what what they can control, which is the things that they do, uh, how professionals, and how much dedication they they having in their lives. Because nowadays in modern football, to be a, a in, in a certain level, you need to be a professional football player 24 hours per day. It's not enough uh, with the time that they spend with us. It, it goes beyond. Um, and I think that's one of the crucial parts for these young talents to to take it really serious. Uh, the player that you mentioned is one of them. Uh, he's doing everything in order to make it happen. So it's about uh, timing, opportunity, have a pinch of luck also in your career to but in the end the, the football will put you in the place that you that you deserve. We'll take the final three. 
final two questions. Muchas gracias. We drop many, too many points uh, early in the season. That is taking us to a space that maybe in November, December, you feel that Pirates is not going to make it again this season. So for us, it was really important to to have a good beginning, to start well the season, and well means results. Uh, So I think it's a good time to be in that peak that, that you mentioned. You know, now it's about us to to keep going, to to continue playing football the way we're doing, understanding that the opponents will improve, the opponents will understand what we do better game after game. They're gonna stop us somewhere, so we need to continue in a permanent evolution. Football is evolution. Uh, is more than evolution is, is progression or you, you want to do progression evolution can be only change but you can change for something worse than what you are right now so it, 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 what, what we did is done now we have to think about what's coming and understanding that the upcoming games are going to be even more difficult because you are in the top and you're winning games so the opponents will take more will take more care about you and what, what's coming is going to be very complicated but we, we're going to be ready um, obviously the fans you know the expectations are getting higher with every passing game i'll just want to find out from you i mean how is the dressing room at this moment in time uh, Surprise, not not surprisingly, but but there's when you are winning, 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 there's always the risk of go too high or too confident, or and it's not the case. They are winning with uh, in a natural way, and they happy, but not too happy. They know that games are coming, you know, uh, soon and. Like I said before, they know how difficult it's going to be week after week. So there's no, like, how can I say, like, too much excitation around the team. They are training well every day. They're fighting for their positions in the team, for the minutes. They're happy to win. Winning is a, is a feeling that I cannot even explain you. It's something, it's something else. And we love to experience that feeling when, when the game finishes, and that's all we want to repeat again and again and again. But right now the team is 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 looking really mature and accepting, you know, that now the things are going well, but not not celebrating too much, which is a good thing. Thomas, coach, um, congratulations on the victory. The synergy between yourselves, technical team, the players, as well as the fans, it's something what makes everybody talks about, even talking about, um, even Coach Truta did mention that the... the even, sorry? Coach Truta. Ah, Coach Truta. Did mention as well that you guys have got a, a unique atmosphere here. But when it comes to this group that you have, if I'm not mistaken, I heard them chanting your name in the press or something. Um, how does... You, how do you and your team get it right? And what is it that makes the team, the players, the coaching staff, and the fans to be one? Whether good moments or bad moments are happening, you guys are still in sync. I think there's, there's an agreement among uh, the, the three parts that you mentioned before. Uh, coaching staff, players, and fans. We're trying to play the football that 
players wants to play, fans wants to see when they are coming to the stadium, and we as a coaches we want to to understand and to improve week after week. And when you are comfortable with the with the idea that you want to express on the field, starting from from the coach and the coaching staff, the players are happy with that football, and actually is a football that the fans wants to do wants to see and recognize when they are coming to our games, it's much more easy, you know, that everything will, will come together. And like I said already weeks ago, it's something to highlight from our fans that they don't hesitate about the team anymore. It doesn't matter if we are leading or chasing or it doesn't matter. They're confident, they are pushing, there's no, how you say, like, uh, noise or you know uh, negative beams around the team and that's something fantastic because it's helping the boys to perform much better especially the youngsters you know to come to the field in it's also one of the keys that they are coming in a moment where the team is is doing well is winning is confident the people is pushing maybe one or two years ago to come inside in Orlando you know uh, with a one one and and people not that happy like they are right now is not going to be that easy. So we need to use that moment to, like I said, to capitalize on the talent that, that we have in the team. And yeah, keep that uh, energy and synergy until the end of the season.